Hi, I'm Jennifer Oates, head of the Music Library at Queens College. I'm here today to talk to you about Oxford Music Online, the most comprehensive scholarly reference source for music available. I recommend you use it instead of Wikipedia. To access Oxford Music Online, you can get to it from the Music Library Research Guide. You can simply Google Music Library Research Guide and you should get here. There's a link here in the quick tips and also in the A to Z links down here. You can also go to the Queens College Library homepage, just Google Queens College Library and you'll come here and just click on the Find Databases quick link. Once there, you can filter databases by subject, database type, vendor provider. I'm simply gonna click on the O because we're going to Oxford Music Online and scroll down the alphabetical list until I find it here. So to get to this, I'm simply gonna click on Oxford Music Online and it will take me directly to Oxford Music Online. Now you can see here, I've already logged in. If you're working from home and you're not logged in, you'll have to click on this middle part here and then you'll be asked to use your CUNY credentials to log in and then you'll get to this page. And you need to click on the link on the Queens College Library webpage or the Music Library Research Guide. Because if you don't, if you just Google Oxford Music Online, you'll end up with this and you won't be logged in and you won't have access. So be sure to use Queens College links to Oxford Music Online. So I'm gonna start just using the search box and I'm gonna look for Barbara Strozzi, who is a Baroque composer from Italy, very interesting composer. So just type in your search terms and click enter or search and you get a list of results. So we have Barbara Strozzi, Giulio Strozzi, who is her father and some other related articles. You can filter by biographical article, family article, article type and place and other things. But we know we want Barbara Strozzi, so I'm just gonna click here and we'll go straight to the article. Once there, you can scroll down to read the article. There'll be links to other related articles and all kinds of useful information about her life and music. Uh, some helpful links are you can save it as a PDF, you can save it to your computer and you can email it to yourself. If you sign in and create a personal profile, you can also annotate the article if you like. And there's also a DOI, a direct object identifier, which is a persistent link to the article. So this is a relatively short article about her life and works. And at the bottom, we have a list of editions of her compositions. So these are current publications or listing of the works that she's completed. So this is useful if you don't know about her compositions, you can see what she wrote. And there also are some links to bibliographical resources click on these links or scroll through to see what you want. Now, if you're doing a search for a composer for which there's much more scholarship available on, like Beethoven, things are a little bit different. So I'm just gonna type in Beethoven. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff to do with Beethoven. So eventually you do get to his article, but again, you can just click on biographical article and that will filter out things like Beethoven Quartet Beethoven Association, Quartetto Beethoven, etc. I'm going to go ahead and just click on the Beethoven entry because I know that's what we want. And you get to this article, which is much longer than the one for Barbara Strozzi. So you can jump around between the contents of the article by how it's broken down here, his family, chronological, the different musical styles, and so forth. You can also jump directly down to his works list as well as the bibliography which is also broken down into further parts that you can click the links here and the same for works. So one of the interesting thing about composers for which we have a lot of information like Beethoven, Mozart, Bach, Brahms and so forth is that their entire musical output has been published in what is known as complete or collected works. These live in the reference section of the music library in the M3s. Now the trick is there are multiple volumes and it's hard to find compositions within these. But the works list here on Oxford Music Online will tell you exactly where to find them. So we've got the complete works of Beethoven from 1862, which is abbreviated as GA. And we also have the revised collected works of Beethoven called the Neue Ausgabe, abbreviated in A, that began in 1961. So those are important. And if you look down here, we can see that the symphony number no. one is in series one, volume one of the 19th century complete works, and that it's also series one, volume one of the Neue Ausgabe started in 1961. 
And this is something you can use for any composer who has a collected works published and listed in Oxford Music Online. So that's a quick guide to using Oxford Music Online. If you have questions, feel free to email the Music Library. We are here to help and we wish you well in your research. Thank you.